Hello, K-Entertainment enthusiasts. Welcome back to I Got News, where the latest buzz in Korean entertainment comes to life. If you're passionate about the beats of K-pop, the twists and turns of K-dramas and everything in between, you're in the right place. We're here to keep you in the loop with the freshest updates, juiciest gossip, and exclusive insights from the Korean entertainment scene. We're all about staying on top of the hottest trends and delivering them straight to your screen. So buckle up, fellow K-Entertainment enthusiasts. I Got News is here to be your ultimate guide through the dazzling world of K-pop, K-drama, and beyond. Before we dive into the news, make sure you hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment below. Stay tuned until next time. Today, we're talking about the latest episode of SBS Running Man airing on June 16th. It's all about the intense futsal showdown between FC Tuck and FC KK UK. Let's dive in. Last week, we saw the three road Huang Hee Chan Cup futsal one in cup kickoff. FC Tuck, led by coach Yu Jae Seok, scored the first goal of the match thanks to their foreign mercenary, Huang Hee Chan. They took an early lead with a 2 0 score. Viewers were thrilled with Hee Chan's performance. Comments flooded in saying, Huang Hee Chan alone makes such a difference to the team. And he's the golden assist that turns even development into blonde. This week promises an even more intense match. He Chan had confidently announced that he would assist each player on his team to score a goal. But as soon as the second half began, things didn't go as planned. Despite his own stellar performance, his teammates missed crucial chances, leading to frustration for He Chan. He Chan showed off his Yu He Chan side, stamping on the ground in anger, making everyone laugh despite the tension. On the other side, coach Kim Yong Guk's FC KK UK faced their greatest crisis yet with Hee Chan's arrival. Kim Yong Guk emphasized that soccer is never played alone and Hee Chan has his limits alone. He devised a strategic comeback plan, exploiting the gaps in FC Tuck. With ace players Yang S. Hee Chan and Kang Hoon staring up the net with their Tiki Taka passes and the defense putting in an all out effort. FCKK UK created a tense atmosphere. They aim to block He Chan's solo runs and capitalize on every opportunity. This week's episode promises to be a nail biter. Will FC Tuck manage to hold onto their lead, or will FCKK UK make a triumphant comeback? The stakes are higher than ever. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding actor Bayan with Seok. His steamy scene from a past movie has recently resurfaced and gone viral. Let's get into all the details. Bayan Wu Seok, who has gained immense popularity for his role as RYU Sun Jae in the K-drama Lovely Runner, has been in the acting scene for several years. However, one of his older roles is currently in the spotlight due to a particularly sexy scene. The scene shows a shirtless Bayan Wu Seok passionately making out with a woman, and it has gone viral. Amassing over 1.8 million views, fans of Lovely Runner express their longing for more intimate scenes like this in the K-drama. They humorously blame Sanjay's bestie, in HUK, played by N Flying Seung Hub, for not getting such moments. One fan joked, the way we could have had this in Lovely Runner if it wasn't for in HUK treating Sanjay's apartment like free real estate. Another added, I would have changed my passcode and everything after this. His ass would be officially banned from entering my premises. For those curious about the clip, it's from the 2023 Korean movie Soulmate, a remake of the 2016 Chinese film of the same name. The movie stars Kim Da Mi and Jian, So Naya's friends in Miso and Go Ha Yun. Bain Wu Siok plays Ham Jin Wu, Ha Yun's crush and later boyfriend. Soulmate follows two girls who meet at the age of 13 and become friends. Over the next 14 years, they experience love, jealousy, and personal growth. Interestingly, not everyone is thrilled about the viral scene. Some who watched the movie were alarmed to see netizens glamorizing the clip. Given how problematic Bayan Wu Seok's character, Ham Jin Woo, was, the fact that the scene had 5.5 thousand saves was especially concerning for them. Today, we've got some juicy and hilarious K-pop gossip for you. Twice his Nian recently appeared on Got7 Bam Bam's YouTube show, Bam House, and let's just say, there were some shocking revelations. Let's dive in. Nian and Bam Bam have been friends since their trainee days at JYP Entertainment, starting way back in 2010. Their friendship is strong, but did you know Bam Bam had a massive crush on Nian? During the episode, 
They reminisced about their trainee days, and Nayin dropped a bombshell. Bam Bum's crush on her was not a secret. In fact, it was the talk of the company. If you like someone at school or somewhere, you usually like them secretly, right? But that wasn't the feeling with me. That Bam Bam liked me was kind of a funny thing for everyone. Everyone knew about it. Nayin revealed that even the company employees were in on the secret. Much to Bam Bam's surprise, Bam Bam thought only his fellow male trainees knew about his crush. He was genuinely shocked to find out how widespread the knowledge was. Trying to piece together how his secret got out, Bam Bam suspected he might have told Jackson, Mark, or even doped Peniel. He humorously blamed Peniel for broadcasting his adorable crush to everyone. If not, I think it was Peniel Hyam. He thought I was adorable and just told everyone. I didn't know though, so everyone was amused by it. In other news, Nayan recently made a solo comeback with her new song ABCD. Fans are loving it, and it's great to see her shine on her own as well as with Twice. Today, we have some exciting news about the beloved Running Man star, Song Ji Hyo. Recently, her incredible wealth and lifestyle were revealed, and it's got everyone talking. Let's dive into the details. On June 15th, Ji Seok Jin featured Song Ji Hyo on his YouTube channel, Jip Union World. The episode, titled Hyo McKay's Song Ji Hyo, showcased Ji Hyo's impressive cooking skills as she prepared a delicious meal for Ji Seok Jin. As Ji Hyo cooked, Ji Seok Jin brought up the topic of marriage among the running man members. When asked about Kim Yong Kook, Ji Hyo hinted that he might have a girlfriend, surprising Ji Seok Jin and viewers alike. Yong Kook is more affectionate these days and smiles more. That's just my feeling, but it seems like he has a girlfriend. The conversation quickly turned to Ji Hyo's own love life. She shared that she's looking for someone and that she's the type to go all in when she falls in love. Ji Seok Jin had nothing but praise for Ji Hyo calling her the best bride. He highlighted her beauty, her impressive income, and even joked about how she looks prettier when she sleeps. Ji Hyo is truly the best bride. She is beautiful, her income is great, and she sleeps a lot. When I get married, my wife looks prettier when she sleeps. But the biggest revelation came when Ji Seo Jin talked about Ji Hyo's house. He disclosed that her home is incredibly large and luxurious, a testament to her success and wealth. Your house is really big. It wasn't made public, but the house is very big. I know what kind of apartment you live in, and it has a large square footage. Ji Hyo's wealth is truly impressive, and fans are thrilled to learn more about her life outside of the spotlight. Today, we've got some heartwarming news about Twice's Nayan and her amazing fan advice during her recent solo comeback. On June 13th, Nayan made her first comeback as a solo artist with her new EP, Na, and the title track, ABCD. Fans are loving this new mature and sexy concept, which is a fresh take compared to her solo debut with pop. But it's not just the music that has fans raving. Nayin has gone above and beyond to show her love and appreciation for her supporters. At her recent ABCD showcase, which was attended by 190 fans, she took individual photos with each and every one of them. Can you imagine the dedication? And it doesn't stop there. For her music or performance, she prepared a special fan meeting and even brought a coffee truck for the 370 fans who attended. Each fan received a unique photo card, each one different and signed personally by Nayan herself. That's right, 370 unique photo cards, each with a different picture and her autograph. Korean netizens couldn't help but praise Nayan's incredible effort and dedication. It's clear that Nayan's love for her fans is truly amazing. She didn't just stop at a simple fan meeting or a few autographs. She invested real time and effort to make each fan feel special and appreciated. It's moments like these that remind us why we love K-pop idols like Nian. Her talent, dedication, and genuine love for her fans make her truly stand out. We can't wait to see what she does next. Today, we're diving into the latest buzz surrounding Twice's Nian and her solo comeback that has left fans absolutely speechless. Nian recently made her solo comeback with her mini-album, Na, and the title track, ABCD. This upbeat anthem is already a hit, but there's one particular moment in the music video that has everyone talking. Besides her stunning visuals and strong vocals, Nian wowed fans with her powerful choreography, especially during the dance break towards the end. But there was one move that truly made jaws drop when she threw her hand down to cover her crotch. Talk about a statement. Even Nayan knew this scene was a standout moment. During a recent viewing, 
She couldn't help but shyly cover her face when this part came on screen. Posts about this particular dance move quickly gain thousands of likes within hours. It's clear that Nian has made a lasting impression with her bold performance. Today, we have some important news regarding BTS's Jin and the recent incident that has sparked outrage among fans. Recently, during the 2024 Festa, an incident occurred where multiple fans attempted to kiss BTS member Jin. This act left many armies enraged, not only at the perpetrators, but also at hype for their perceived lack of response in protecting Jin. In response to the incident, a dedicated army formally reported the matter to the police, requesting an investigation into the fans' actions as potential sexual assault. Initially, the police were uncertain if the situation warranted a formal investigation. However, on June 18th, the Seoul Songpa police station announced the commencement of a preliminary investigation into the fan who kissed Jin under the Sexual Violence Punishment Act. A police representative informed Tunisia that they are actively contacting Hype to understand Jin's stance on the matter, as his testimony will be crucial for the investigation. The complainant also shared their phone conversation with the police, revealing that even with clear evidence, the investigation can only proceed if Jin testifies that he felt sexually harassed this aspect highlights the importance of Jin's personal testimony in this case. Speculations have arisen that the woman involved might be a Japanese blogger. Fans have called for a travel ban, but the police explained that this would require obtaining a list of the event's 1,000 participants from Hype, identifying the perpetrator, and then imposing travel restrictions, a complex and time-consuming process. Jin was recently discharged from his military duties on June 12 and hosted the 2024 Festa the very next day to celebrate BTS's 11th debut anniversary. This joyous occasion was unfortunately marred by the incident. Today, we've got some adorable news about Blackpink's Ginny and Billie Eilish. That will make you smile. Ginny and Billie Eilish recently stole the show at the Hit Me Hard and Soft Spotify event in Seoul, Korea. Ginny interviewed Billie, but it felt more like to besties hanging out. During the interview, the two discussed a variety of topics. Ginny was eager to give Billie some Korean food recommendations like bibimbap. The chemistry between them was undeniable, and their cute interactions had everyone blushing. They had nothing but praise for each other. Ginny even shared that her favorite song to sing in the car is Birds of a Feather. Ginny also opened up about her passions, including a secret love for taking care of pandas. And in a moment that thrilled fans, Ginny hinted at her upcoming music. It's clear that Ginny and Billy share a wonderful chemistry that highlights their strong friendship. This dynamic duo first met during Coachella in 2019, and seeing their reunion now is just heartwarming. We can't wait to see what these two talented artists do next. Whether it's new music or more adorable interactions, we're here for it. Today, we're diving into some recent drama surrounding BTS, even while six of their seven members are currently serving in South Korea's military. Although the members are fulfilling their military duties, they haven't disappeared from the music scene. They've been keeping fans entertained with solo projects like Arms Right Place, Wrong Person Album, J-Hope's Hope on the Street Album, and V's song Friday and Dis. Armies are thrilled with all the new content, but not everyone is happy. Some netizens have voiced concerns, claiming that BTS's ongoing success is overshadowing other groups, even though BTS members are technically away. As fans have pointed out, idols are allowed to release music during their military service, provided the music was produced before they enlisted. This means BTS is following the rules, and their continued success is a result of their hard work and dedication. Why blame BTS for being prepared? Agencies should learn from them. It's not BTS's fault that their music is still topping the charts. It just shows their global impact. Up next, Jimin will be dropping his second solo album, Muse, on July 19th. Fans are eagerly anticipating its release and are ready to support him all the way. We've got some big news about Blackpink's plans for 2024 that you need to know. According to an exclusive report from Tunisia, Blackpink will reportedly not have any full group activities in 2024. Instead, the members will be focusing on their individual careers. Lisa, Ginny, and RS will be promoting their solo albums, while Hisa will be dedicating her time to filming for her K-dramas and movie roles. RS recently signed a management contract with the Black Label, ensuring all of her members are supported for their individual projects. 
Lisa is set to release her new single Rockstar on June 28th, and fans are eagerly awaiting her latest solo work. But it's not all solo work for Blackpink in 2024. Tanasia also reported that the group is preparing something special for their 8 year anniversary on August 8th. While details are still under wraps, it's exciting to think about what they might have in store for us. In today's news, Blackpink's Ginny is making waves and turning heads with a new diss track that many believe is aimed squarely at her former agency, YG Entertainment. Let's dive into the details. Following months of speculation, it was recently confirmed that none of the Blackpink members would be renewing their contracts with YG Entertainment for their solo activities. Instead, each member has been making significant moves in their solo careers. In December 2023, Ginny announced the launch of her own company, Odd Atelier, marking an exciting new chapter for the artist. Since then, Ginny's solo activities have ramped up significantly. Fans have been vocal about their belief that YG Entertainment was holding her back especially after Ginny revealed that one of her releases had been ready for over three years. On June 19th, Ginny launched her solo TikTok account with a video featuring her hit song Solo. The following day, she shared a video for her new campaign with Beat Spider, featuring stunning visuals and, most intriguingly, an unreleased track titled Untitled Ginny. Fans quickly noticed the lyrics of this unreleased song which many believe are a direct critique of YG Entertainment and the treatment of Blackpink members. The lyrics include lines like Taken for granted, taken as hostage, carried the baggage, carried the past ass, as luck would have it, taken future was written, they didn't plan for women to woman up, and they didn't plan it, but we came out of history like FCK it, they didn't want it, but we came out of history like justice. Fans have been ecstatic over this apparent diss track, praising Ginny for her boldness and feminist message. Here are some of their reactions. This isn't the first time a Blackpink member has seemingly hit back at YG Entertainment, but Ginny's bold move has definitely got everyone talking. Today, we're talking about Astro's Chai Yunwu and his recent appearance at Dior's Men's Summer 25 fashion show during Paris Fashion Week. As always, Yunwu's stunning visuals had everyone excited. But this time, his outfit has sparked quite a discussion. Yunwu, known for his impeccable looks, attended the event in a brown leather jacket over a grey top pretty standard, right? But it was the bottom half of his outfit that got netizens talking. Yunwu paired his stylish top with grey shorts that reached mid-thigh and black socks that came up to his calves. The look was completed with classic black shoes. While the top half was praised, the shorts and socks combination left many netizens unimpressed. Some even felt that the outfit didn't do justice to Yunwu's usually flawless style. In an online forum, netizens shared their thoughts on the outfit, particularly criticizing the way it was captured in Getty Images, typically harsh lighting. Comments ranged from there are clothes that even Cha Yunwu can't pull off to his face is still handsome, though many believe that the brand might be relying too much on Yunwu's visuals to make the outfit work. Despite the mixed reviews on his outfit, one thing everyone agreed on was that Yunwu's handsome looks managed to save the day. Even in an outfit that didn't quite hit the mark, his charm and visual appeal shone through. Get ready for some hilarious and heartwarming moments from Paris Fashion Week, where GOT7 as Jackson Wan and Bam Bam had a mini reunion that left Agassiz in stitches. Let's dive into the fun. Jackson Wan and Bam Bam reunited at Paris Fashion Week's Louis Vuitton fashion show much to the delight of Agassiz. It was a treat to see the two GOT7 rappers together again after a while, but the fun didn't stop there. The next day, Jackson and Bamba made more appearances together, giving fans even more to cheer about. In a playful twist, Jackson decided to follow Bamba secretly. He even shushed Agassiz, asking them not to expose him. Talk about dedication to a prank. Jackson joined the waiting Agassiz and began recording Bamba like a fan. The best part, a security guard, not recognizing Jackson, stopped and held him back. Imagine trying to hold back the one and only Jackson Wong. The hilarious moment quickly went viral on X, formerly Twitter, with Agassiz loving every second of Jackson's successful prank. Fans couldn't stop laughing and praising the duo's playful antics. Seeing Jackson and Bam Bam's fun antics again reminds us why got 7 s Bond is so special. Their playful interactions brought so much joy to Agassiz around the world. Thank you for joining I Got News today. If you loved what you saw, hit like, share, and subscribe for more K Entertainment updates.
Your support means the world. Drop your thoughts below and let's keep the K-Entertainment conversation alive. As we sign off, keep spreading the K-Entertainment love, stay tuned, and most importantly, stay fabulous. Until we meet again for more exciting news and updates, 